testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another quick hit. Uh, we come at you twice a day to keep you up to the latest of all boxing news. Um, if this is something that you guys are interested in, if you want to get content twice a day, keeping you up uh, on all the latest boxing news, um, like and subscribe, share with a friend because if we come at you twice a day, every day, quick hit, just eight to ten minute shows um, to keep you completely up to date on the world of boxing. Um, so... Today's show is going to be about one of my favorite topics, uh, show, show on Showtime Porter, Showtime Sean Porter, and Terrence Bud Crawford, and negotiations. I like talking about negotiations. Um, Sean Porter allegedly, not allegedly, he claims that he, he admits it, um, says he's turned down a $2 million offer to fight Terrence Crawford. Um, he says it's disrespectful, um, and... They offered $2 million to fight uh, Khan and $2 million to fight Brooke, and he knew that he could get $2 million to fight Brooke. You could get Brooke into the ring for $2 million, that you can't get him into the ring for $2 million, that he could draw a crowd, that he demand he draws a lot of attention, and he demands a big payday. Look, um, and I, I just did this with Steve Kim on Twitter. Um, th- th- that's up to Sean Showtime, Showtime, Showtime Sean Porter. Um, if he thinks that's chump change, if he thinks that's beneath him, he can sit and negotiate all he wants. Um, he can wait. He's on the right side of the street for 147 pounder. All of the big fights besides Terrence Crawford are on that side of the street. Um, he, he has options here and he, he can do what he wants. Um, I, I don't think 2 million is an unreasonable offer. I think it's actually a pretty fair offer. I think the one million was a little bit silly that they offered him initially. Uh, two million is not a terrible offer. Two million is it, it, it's it's guys. It's negotiations. They go low, you go high, then you meet in the middle, right? I mean, like if you ever bought anything of value, uh, expensive, you know that's kind of how it works, right? You buy a house, a car, you go high. Well, they go high, you go, you know, you they go low, you go high, and then we, we meet somewhere in the middle. Like and that's how negotiation works on any scale. Um, so I don't think two million is, 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 and he turned it down. And I don't think it's a terrible offer. I thought one million was a joke. Two million is a fair offer to start with. He can come back and say I want three, and which is completely reasonable. Between two and three is what you would think he would get. Um, I don't know what Al Heyman is paying these guys in the back end because what they disclose or what they get are always two very, very different things, right? Because there's back end checks. Um, if he can get close to three, maybe he asks for three and a half. You come back, you try to get three. Maybe, you know, you meet somewhere two and a half, two, seven, five, something like that. Um, I, I, I think that's reasonable for this fight, you know? Um, the thing is, Bud is worth $4 million, um, at least. He's going to get between 4 and 5 His His minimum on his contract is 4 I don't know if they'd give him 4 plus some back end on the pay-per-view. If he gets 4 it's going to be hard to tell Porter he's going to get less than 3 because Porter has done good numbers. His one pay-per-view has done more than uh, um, both of the pay-per-views that uh, Bud has done combined. He's got a lot to stand on. He doesn't have a belt. Um, I don't know how much that matters. I mean, Crawford's going to be the A side. Um, and, and, and honestly, Crawford hasn't really done anything as far as numbers, pay per view numbers, to, to warrant that. Uh, I know he's a WBO champ. I, I, I know he. He's the pound for pound guy, right? Like, he's top two, three, maybe one if you're ESPN. Crawford's the number one pound for pound guy. I, I have him three on my list, but he's somewhere one, two, or three. Uh, Porter's never been that high on any pound for pound list. He's not that high in the welterweight rankings. He's probably five, four or five in the welterweight rankings, depending on where you put guys like Boots and Virgil. Um, 
do you still rank Packy? I mean, it, it depends on a lot of things. Um, I, I think Porter. has other options, right? This is in like other sports, right? It's it's not like a basketball player or a football player who's got to report to camp, right? And then each day he doesn't, you know, he's hurting his own contract. He's hurting his own value. Um, it's, it's, it's not like he's got spring training doing like a baseball player, right? Um, he can sit out and negotiate with however long he wants with whoever he wants until the deal comes and he can choose not to fight at all. Right. I mean, he can do that. Um, my guess is that Spence is going to fight Ugas, uh, and it's going to leave two fights for him. He can fight Keith Thurman again, which I think would have some appeal. Or he could fight Boots, and I think Boots would be an interesting fight. I, I think he could get $2 million for that. Boots probably get seven fifty to 1, right? So you get a $3 million pot, roughly, for that fight. I, I don't think that's completely unreasonable, but I don't really know how, how big is Boots to the rest of the boxing world. Um, I I don't think Sean Porter turning this down is unreasonable, and I I don't think the offer is unreasonable. I I do think this fight's going to get made. I'll tell you why. Um, He's going to negotiate other fights. He's going to come back and find out this is the most he can get. Um, And it's also a legacy fight, right? If he beats Terrence Crawford, he solidified himself as a Hall of Famer. He solidifies himself as a pound-for-pound guy. And he solidifies himself as an all-time great welterweight, three-time champion. He's got Crawford on his resume. He's got Danny Garcia on his resume. You know, he's got some solid names on his resume at this point. Uh, and then he can go back and try to get a rematch he, with, with Spence or whatever. Um, but here's what, Porter has been able to work out a contract with literally every other top welterweight from Broner. And yes, Broner's a joke, but he's still a star. He's still a name. So Broner, Thurman, Spence, Danny, Kel Brook, Amir Khan, every single other big name welterweight in this era, he's been able to work out a contract with. So if he can't work out a contract with Bob Aaron top rank, it's on Bob Aaron top rank. It's not on Crawford because he's got a proven track record that he's able to do this. Right, um, so I do think this fight's going to happen. If it, it, I, I don't think Bud versus Pacquiao is going to happen, so assuming that doesn't happen, I do think we get this middle of the year. I really do, July, something like that. I, I do believe we get this fight um, because, like I said, Crawford's kind of out of options. Um, we don't really have any good options, and Porter has been able to make fights at every level with every other top alterweight. So why wouldn't he be able to work out a deal with Terrence Crawford? So I, I, I think we get this. I do. And I think it's a great fight. Um, But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Guys, let me know what you think. Do you think this fight happens? Do you think anyone's being unreasonable? Um, Please like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. Smash the thumbs up. Share this on all forms of social media. Uh, it is February 19th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get Iron Boy into the Hall of Fame. Uh, From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.